Frank. Thanks hey. for uh, thanks for being on my show. Hi, Rebecca. Great to be here. Even though you told me specifically that you hate video games. Um, I hate is a strong word. I just have never played them because I'm bad at sports. Mm -hmm. I don't think the two mm. things are necessarily no. equivalent. I no. just have never. Mm, it's something for whatever reason. Uh, and with my addictive personality, it's probably a good thing I never got into them. Good because point. I'd just be doing them all the time. I'm going to feel really bad if mm. this is like your gateway video game. Oh, my video gateway game. drug to be. Yeah, yeah, it could be, you know, because uh, I'm very devoted to wasting all my time on Twitter and Facebook. So right. it would be a shame if I shifted that and wasted my time on something else. I mean, think of all the disappointed fans. Yes. <laughs> Unless you got into like first person shooters or something where people <clears throat> can play with you yeah. online, yeah. you would be really popular. Hey, I could be the next uh, video game king after today. That's what they're called actually, video game kings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Um, all right, well, we're gonna play your first ever video game. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Wave Race. Uh -huh. um, you you let me pick the game, but right. anything but football. Right, basically. and this what they're doing in this, which is called uh, what is it? Uh, ski uh, jet skis. Yeah, jet skis. Uh, it's also something I've never done in real life. Perfect, perfect. Yes. <laughs> I feel like we're mm -hmm. uh, we're entering bold new territory yes. for you. I'm really excited about it. Okay, so uh, you can hold the controller like the way you are, uh -huh. or you can hold it like this, uh -huh. so that. Uh, yeah, you can use this thing to maneuver. Uh, it might be a little easier. Which, what do you use to maneuver with this? this yeah, the joystick here. So if I'm going uh, one way or this way uh -huh. and forward and back. Yep. So what's yep. all this other stuff for? Uh, that's just window dressing. Oh, okay, good. Um, because I was worried about all <laughs> There these. are a lot of buttons. This is like very high tech for me. <laughs> Like, there's like seven buttons and then this thing. I believe that this is uh, from 1996. Yes. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, this, if, unless I can get cable on that, I, I don't have you can, Yeah, you can ignore the D-pad, um, but you will need to use buttons. Uh -huh. So I'm pretty sure, I, I haven't played this game Ooh. since like uh -huh. 1996, but uh -huh. I, I think you press, I think it's A to go. Uh -huh. And then you can probably hit any of these other buttons to do tricks and stuff. Oh, okay. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot of tricks, well, I have to tell you, you right now. You know, now. you might lose the game uh -huh. uh -oh. if you don't do the tricks, but mm -hmm. uh, there's also like a trigger under here. Uh -huh. That's another button. I don't know oh, what it okay. does, but um, it might do something. There's a lot of things in this room that could trigger my temper, but <laughs> this was just for the game, yeah. you say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good, good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm going to put on two, I guess, two player versus. Okay, so yeah, um, you're, you're 2P up there. 2P, I, by the way, I have 2P. That's the kind of comedy gold you're <laughs> going to get today, folks. This is great. <laughs> yes. This is going to kill. Mm. Uh, so, <laughs> so you can move it left and right to uh -huh. pick which... Oh, okay. When you want. I'm gonna I'm the girl, so I'm gonna be the girl. Oh, you're the oh yeah. okay. And then I'll be and so do I move uh so you this? move it left or right to see how it changes your person. Oh uh, okay, so and then I push A is this yeah. the one I'm picking? Is is that the one you want? Um you said two P, right? So Yeah. So I just press A on that. Uh huh. And then let's just yeah, just, just hit A again. Okay. And then press start, which is the red button there. Oh, okay. The the button that says start. The, that's the one. Well, okay. you know, I, I'm trying to keep things. Right. Okay, so... Oh, before the game even starts, it seems too complicated. <laughs> we have to pick all these things. What, well, people Where like do we want to go? Sunset yeah. Bay or Sunny Beach or Drake? Do you have like, a... You're, I, you've not been eager to make decisions thus far in this process. No, so I'll let you decide okay. if you're in the mood for a lake or the ocean or the well, bay. Well, I feel yeah. like these probably get harder as uh, they go. So let's start with uh, Sunny Beach. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and we'll put it on normal. I, I like Sunny Beach too, especially since of all the uh, seasonal affective disorder right. I've been suffering all year. Yeah, and these lights should help too. Yeah. Okay, so press the blue button, um, A, to go. Uh-huh. And then hold it down. There okay. you go. And then maneuver left and right to go. Oh, okay. And I think, oh crap, I was not paying attention and I slammed into a fence. So that should help you out a little oh, bit. Oh, I think it's, yeah, oh, it's, it's, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> you have to keep holding down A. Oh, you keep holding down A. Yeah. In order to move. That's like your gas pedal. Okay. Yeah. 
and then yeah, so I'm going around stuff. Oh wait, what where happened? Where are you? I, oh <laughs> you're, shit! You're I'm on, wave the, I'm on, on the, the sand. I'm on the sand already. <laughs> That's physically impossible. <laughs> You've done a physically. I'm impossible actually thing. like. Okay, now I'm I'm back. <laughs> okay. I'm back now. So hold down, hold a. down A. Uh huh. Okay, and now I'm just going straight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, you're going the wrong way. What? You're going the opposite direction. Oh wait, where? I'm so, <laughs> so, so you see the arrows pointing to your left. Uh, see you. You. Okay. So I go this. Look at your little guy. I go this way then. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold and then, well, there you go. Okay, okay. to the right. <laughs> you know <laughs> this is. Very, uh... You're doing great. You're doing great. I okay, like... Okay, I want to like get on the water, right? Mm -hmm. The okay. water is a good place mm. to start. And, okay, now okay, you're... Okay, now I'm going to stop because I don't want to go on... No, keep... Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, okay. go to the left. Okay. There you go. You're catching up to me. See, there I am. Oh, and now there's all this stuff here. <laughs> they make it kind of hard for you to just have a nice, pleasant... <laughs> Right. Yeah, maybe there's like another uh, setting where <laughs> it's just like the open ocean. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be much I, easier because this stuff is kind of dangerous. <laughs> you think about it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess when you think about it in that in that uh, way. So you want to go? Oh, do I want to go the go? opposite direction? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think. I don't think you're bad at video games. I think uh, that you just have a problem with rules. No, with coordination, I think it's mm, okay. a problem. Okay, so. so. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, you're going the wrong way. Okay, mm -hmm. so where am I? <laughs> I was trying to turn there. You know, this is just mm -hmm. hazardous. Mm -hmm. you I know. know. It's all right. This you're is doing... not, not, not a safe. <laughs> This doesn't feel like a safe space. At least for you're me. wearing a helmet uh -huh, in the yeah. game. All right, so now they you keep just having go into beaches and stuff. It's like I just want to go on the water. The problem is definitely too many beaches uh -huh. in this. Okay, so which so way? Which way do I go? You're pointed in the correct direction. Okay. So just hit your gas. Okay. Uh, you don't have to like push so hard on the oh, controller because okay. <laughs> every time you do, you uh -huh. just drive. Okay, so okay. just gently. So. There you go. Now, slightly to the right, just a little bit. Okay, little, okay. no, not enough. <laughs> I, but then, are you supposed to go through one of those things? It's like no path. It's like you're trapped in or something, right? <laughs> you, you, you need to go that way. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to point uh, on And you the know, I feel bad because this is, uh, you know, you're spending so much time helping me. It's kind of a, probably yeah, I mean, affecting your ability to well, get all the points that you want. This is probably the longest lap in the history yeah. of laps. Okay, okay, here oh, this no, is. Here you go. Okay, so to the left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you've got it. Okay, so. Too, oh. too far. Too far. There. <laughs> That's all right, though. Yeah. Okay, no, you've got it now. Okay, now I, I did a tricky it. thing. You did a tricky thing? Well, I went over, I flew over the... I, oh. oh I, won. I thought I was doing well. <laughs> no, And then it no. said I was doing... Uh, no. Because I felt like I was finally had some momentum going. It did like seem like you were about finally to... Finally on the water. And, the weird thing is, I didn't even go around the, enough laps to win. So uh, the game was just like, you know what? You're done. You're done. It's like the game... We just told us you're both pathetic. Yeah, yeah, but, but it was my it fault. Was your I fault. hope the game knows. Let me see. I just want to see if there's like there's a stunt mode here. Uh -huh. I want to, uh -huh. but oh, it looks like that's one player only. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna go uh, you back. know, if I play, even if I played the one player only game, I would lose that. <laughs> you I'm probably sure. would. Actually, <laughs> all right, let's try this again. Okay. All right, so pick your craft again. You might want to pick a different one. Maybe that's uh, um, part of it. Okay, where, how See, do I do because they do have thing? different... Oh, so left and right with the controller. Right, but... It, and but then it, A. So... The blue button. And then hit it again. Okay. And then start. Okay, so... Mm-hmm. Good job. All right, we'll do Sunny Beach again because you're okay. very familiar with the track. Uh, maybe we'll put a handicap on. I don't know. I don't know what um, that meant. A handicap would be me playing. <laughs> with that, we call the, mm -hmm. Although I call it... Um, uh, digitally challenged as opposed yeah, to handicap. Yeah, it's more yeah, yeah. sensitive. Yeah. Um, so press A to go. Okay. Uh huh. Hold that down. Okay. You're doing really well so far. Okay, I want to get. Oh no no okay, no! Nope. You're, you're in the sand again. <laughs> this is uh, Lawrence of Arabia wasn't in the sand as much as this. <laughs> 
sorry, that okay. one made me laugh. That one made me laugh at least. How? What? I think that's the, the, the video game is just getting smart now. It's like, oh, you're in the game now? You lost. Oh, man. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know what uh, happened. Maybe that was to do with the handicap. Maybe I shouldn't, okay. should turn that off. I don't know. Um, so, Frank, the mm. idea with this show uh, is that we chat while playing video okay. games. Okay. But, of course... Well, what, you, <laughs> let's just chat and I'll, while I crash you, into while things. While you figure things out. Okay. Right. All right. So, you're best known uh -huh. for Mystery Science Theater. Yes. Um, does it annoy you that that's what people associate with uh, you? Like not at all. I am very grateful to have something like that yeah. that, uh, that people know me for. I've done a million other things. I'm doing a million other things. I have lots of other projects that I'm always working on and other shows that I've worked on. Mm -hmm. um, but people know me for Mystery Science Theater, and um, and I'm perfectly cool with that. I'm I'm, I'm grateful that that I was a part of something that is so much that means so much to so many people. Yeah, can I admit something sure. to you? Uh, I sometimes think about how we're friends, and I get really excited. Oh uh, really? Because and I, I want to go back in time and tell uh -huh. uh, teenage me like, uh -huh. you're, you're going to be friends with TV's Frank. Oh one day. okay. You know, does that make it weird? No, not at all. Okay. I think w one of the things you're excited about being my friend is because we live in different cities. <laughs> People that live in the same city with me sometimes it's not as not so excited that they're friends with me. I've turned. So I'm a, I can off, be a way. handful. Is my point? Really? I don't, I don't think so. I, don't, I I think you're. The bee's knees. Oh. Uh, and yeah. Do you have the bee's knees video game? We should be playing that maybe. <laughs> you would probably be really good at that. Uh, you, and you would just be. Like that's uh, how you would win the game. You right, would just be. I would. Exactly. You are in fact the bee's knees. I would, knees. Um, I would pollinate to victory. <laughs> Gross. I don't even know what that means. I you know feel about like science. it means you would just like come all over everything. Well, I didn't want to say that in so many words, but. Uh, that's why I've been banned from every video <laughs> arcade in America, now that you've brought that up. That's not how you win that game, Frank. Oh, okay. That's not how you win that game. Okay. Um, and I'm very proud I didn't do a joke about my joystick, which you, would be if I were a hack comedian, I would have, but now i But I'm, you're not a hack comedian. I, I try not to be. You are uh, a much better comedian than that. You're the kind who makes Lawrence of Arabia jokes. Yes, like, exactly. When put like that, it sounds really highbrow, <laughs> you know? Uh, Lawrence of Arabia joke. Um, so what are you working on now? Um, I am uh, working on um, my next episode of my podcast is finally coming in. Now, most people who do mm -hmm. podcasts do like two episodes a month or one a week or mm -hmm. one every two months or whatever. Um, or, or every day. Uh, mine, my episodes come out about once a year is the way it's working out. Because my podcast, which is called Podhouse 90, which is based on the old um, 1950s television show, Pod, um, Playhouse 90, which was an anthology show of, of plays. And the idea behind my podcast is it's an anthology of plays that I write and produce for the radio, I know it's not really the radio, it's the internet, but I like to call them because I'm old school. You're old, you're old school, yeah. So, and and so I've, I've written three, um, three full-length plays with music. They're actually musicals. Um, the first one was called uh, The Wonderful Pundits of Oz. The second one was called South by South Satan. And uh, my next one coming out very soon, uh, hopefully in about a month, is called um, Sat is called Dracula Has Risen in the Poles. And uh, Trace Blue plays Dracula, um, Dana Gould plays a leprechaun, Eddie Pepitone plays a vampire hunt hunter, uh, Julie Klausner plays uh, Eddie Pepitone's girlfriend, uh, Lorraine Newman is in it. It has all of these productions that I've done have spectacular casts of incredibly yeah. funny people that I'm very blessed that my friends are willing to contribute their talents to these things. And so the next one is called um, uh, Dracula. Dracula Has Risen in the Poles. 
and uh, it's coming out in about a month. And so Dracula's and, a politician? No, he's, um, he's a celebrity, and he's actually... He's trying to cash in on the, the, the popularity of Twilight, basically. Mm. Like, he's trying to be a much cooler, much more brooding vampire. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's kind of about his, his re-entry into, into New York and his acceptance by the media. But there's also Eddie Pepitone plays his nemesis, Jerry Van Helsing, who lives in Staten Island and who is determined to destroy him and you know it's mm -hmm. so it's, it's a basically it's a very old-fashioned uh dracula p story well you know uh, considering how much effort is obviously going into these podcasts uh -huh. i think you can be forgiven for not doing one every yeah week. i mean I, it take it's a big endeavor uh to uh to write them and produce them yeah. and prepare them and coordinate um you know i think ideally in a world where i had the resources to just uh, really do them and not get interrupted and not be dependent on people finding the time because people like my friend Tommy Chan who produces it in his studio you know he has to make a living doing all these other things so you know he has to uh, find the correct time yeah. to, to, to put these together and, and, and getting comedians and actors who are also trying to make a living to get them to find the time to generously... <laughs> am I going the wrong way? Or no, I was around? going the wrong way and I just okay. ran you over. <laughs> uh, so, um, so, you know, in an ideal world, I would do maybe three a year maybe, but yeah. this way, like I'm doing, so far I've, I've managed to do one a year. <laughs> I, I think that's still pretty impressive. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're and, welcome. And it's, um, yeah, it's kind of, you know, I do a lot of podcasts and uh, I do the Jimmy Dore podcast every week, which people can listen to at jimmydorecomedy.com. And that's a very politically oriented um, panel discussion with sketches. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so I'm very involved with stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, you did a political thing last night, right? With John Fugel Yeah. Yeah. Laughing Liberally, John Fugelsang, whose show I worked on last year at Current yeah. TV. And, um, I wanted to go to that last night. Oh, you should have. It was yeah. really, you know who was in the audience, if I can drop a name? Yeah, uh, Nate Silver. It. Oh, really? Nate Silver <sighs> came. Yeah, he was very cool. He liked the show. I should have gone. Um, as, as, um, as Scott Blakeman said, uh, one of the other comedians, uh, Nate Silver's here. What are the odds? Um, <laughs> But uh, a so quality joke. <laughs> yeah, so he was uh, he was very cool, and and it was a great show. And but you know, so I do a lot of political comedy. But I do all it isn't all I do. You know, I, I do a lot of I do comedy about whatever it is that I'm preoccupied with. And sometimes yeah. it's politics, and sometimes it's popular culture, and sometimes it's my deep neuroses that I extrapolate on and do comedy neuroses. about. I do a lot of. Um, Clinical depression is a big theme of mine in my comedy. It used to be alcoholism, but I overcame that, so now. But I'm lucky that even though I overcame my alcoholism, I still have severe depression to deal with. Well, that thank I can, that God. I can, thank God for that, that yeah. I can turn into comedy. What if, what if you get over that? What then? Oh, I don't know. I might finally be... Um, not funny. Not funny and happy. <laughs> which is... Which, if you could choose. Um, I, you know what, I, I don't know, that's a tough one actually. I, I'm so, I so base, and this is sad, I base so much of my self-worth on whether I'm being funny or not. Yeah. That if I suddenly didn't feel the need to be funny anymore, then maybe, but that's just the good thing, then it would send me into another depression and then I'd have, that's I'd true. have comedy fodder again. It's the circle of life. Yes, it's, it's the circle <laughs> of despair, I yeah. think is what that's called. I, I feel a lot the same way. Uh, I feel sometimes like I require, if mm. someone hasn't laughed at a joke I've made uh, in a day, I start to feel really insecure. Right. And I hate myself. I know, it's, it's, I think it's what um, drives us forward, you know. Yeah. And that, um, you know, I could, uh, you know, on the one hand, um, I could find a spiritual and deep emotional fulfillment. On the other hand, I could, I could do well in the at midnight hashtag game. <laughs> right, you know? right. Do you do you think there are any comedians who don't base their talents on self-loathing? Um, not any funny ones. No, I, I don't know if that's true because I don't I don't go by the notion that 
you have to be neurotic um, and unhappy to be a good comedian. It, it certainly helps. Yeah. But comedy is also a talent that you're born with, you know. So if you're born with a talent for comedy and you're in a happy family and and you don't get all screwed up, you know, you know, if you have the comedy talent, you're still going to probably write really funny things. See, I don't know, though. I think uh, I might disagree with you. I don't uh, know that comedians are born. I feel like comedians are made. Um, I don't know. I, I, think you, uh, I think a talent is something that is developed um, and nurtured. But if you're not born with a basic talent to be funny, I don't think you're ever going to be funny. But I feel like everybody is, has like has it inside of them. But if you're too pretty and happy when you're young, well, you, you just might, don't. you might, if you're too pretty and happy, you might, that just might not, ne might never awaken within you. That, yeah. That, that, that comedic way of looking at the world, um, which requires conflict and requires, requires anger. You know, yeah. it requires you to be angry about things um, and to feel conflicted about things. Uh, yeah, and, that, comedy, and that's where you get your material from. If, if yeah. you're just happy all the time, um, then you're going to have a harder time, I think, coming up with, with, uh, with good comedy. Yeah, because comedy, I think, maybe this is bullshit, but I'm thinking that in a way all comedy involves conflict and, you right. know, and expectations, you know, dashing expectations and things. So if you never have your expectations dashed, then... Well, you know, I mean, on, on the internet, and, and you've, I think you've gotten this, you know, a lot more than I have, is people say, oh, Frank, you're such an angry liberal. <laughs> why, why are you such an angry liberal? And it's like, well, I could not be angry. I could just look at things going on in the world and not right. think about them and not get upset about anything. But, you know, it's like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be that way. Yeah. You know? If you're not angry, you're not paying attention. Yeah. Right. And, and the good thing about comedy is hopefully you can take that anger and make it into something entertaining yeah. that people will enjoy. But some people on my Twitter feed don't enjoy. <laughs> and I actually tweeted something this week. And you may actually dispute this because you may say this about your Twitter trolls. But uh -huh. I, I tweeted the other day that I feel very confident saying that my Twitter tro trolls are the stupidest fucking people oh, yeah, walking no. the face of the earth. No, I saw that and uh, I, I my first thought was bullshit. <laughs> you do not even know. Uh, my my yeah, guys I think are I've so seen some dumb. of your vitri vitriol and it actually I have to admit it goes way beyond. But I just this past week I got a series of incredibly what, stupid What was the dumbest thing? Well, I um me? I made a joke comparing I, I said something along the lines of, you know, George W. Bush um, you know, his, he put out his paintings this yeah. past week, and I said, you know, he, uh, um, I'll say this for him, in the, in the category of war criminal artists, he's at least as good a painter as Hitler. <laughs> Which some people disputed. They said, no, actually, Hitler was a better painter. Yeah, but, um, I agree. But some, yeah. some guy That's wrote joke, in though. saying, uh, you know, if uh, he said he wanted to beat me with a baseball bat, you know, <laughs> and he said, if you've never served in the military, you have no right to criticize uh, um, Bush and that all these no like sense. really stupid things. Yeah. And, and what I do, um, which I think you do sometimes, too, is I retweet the troll yeah. sometimes yeah so then my followers kind of go after yeah them. i liken but, it to shoving somebody into a pit of piranhas uh, and then walking away yeah yeah exactly <laughs> you know, it, it works pretty well i think and um and 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 one of the guys um who trolled me was he got into interactions with my other followers and said like used horrible words to describe with him which i'm sure you've never seen <laughs> yeah. on your feed ever no what kind but, of words uh, but he also, Lady. you know, was very, uh, like, tried to pass himself off as a military guy. And I said to him that it was, it was obvious from his tweets that he was a total coward. Yeah. You know, that I, so I didn't believe anything he was saying about being in the military. I right. said, doormen have served more in uniform than you have. <laughs> the captain good. and Tennille have better military records than you have, you know. That's good. I like that. Captain and Sneal reference. Classic. <laughs> I know, those are the kind of up-to-date references that <laughs> kept me on top all these years. I was just talking to somebody about Captain uh, and Sneal. They, they split were... up recently. They divorced. Really? Just, just, the, just like a couple months ago. Does love yeah. have no meaning yeah, anymore? Yeah, I know, I know. Frank, you were really close to completing your first lap, I think. Uh, it was like, oh wait, no, I think you're at the beginning. 
Never. I still haven't no, no, got no, the I knack of not driving up onto the... Uh, I feel like, yeah, you just go through there, and okay. I think that's your, the first lap, you'll... No, that's just the beginning. <laughs> Never oh. mind, you're going the wrong way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to beat you again. It's, I'm like a typical male. I refuse to ask for directions. Right, yeah. <laughs> just spinning around. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ignoring I the arrow. I can find out the way to go, but no, I have to find it out myself. So speaking of anger, I was just uh, talking to John Ronson about this. Um, uh, there, a study just came out showing that uh, it was looking at violence in video games and whether uh, or not it makes us more aggressive. Mm. What the study found was that the more violent a game is, it doesn't necessarily make you more right. aggressive. But the harder a game is to master, uh -huh. like the worse you are at the game, that's what makes you aggressive. That's, that makes sense because you get frustrated, yeah. right? And you get... So do you feel aggressive right now? Um, I, uh, I don't know. As you can see, I'm kind of seething with, um, with passionate... <laughs> Passionate rage at the moment. I feel like for you, this yeah. is a pretty high level of. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, but this rage. is kind of like the problem with my life is I'm I'm doing this thing and I don't give a shit whether I win or not. Right. You know? so, <laughs> Which I think is the best attitude you can have uh, when you're truly terrible at something. Yes. yes. <laughs> like being apathetic about it. Well, that, that's the being terrible at it. Le and it's why, like, I've never been into sports. You know, and I yeah. grew up around sports. My father wrote about sports, and. Uh, like a, uh, he was a journalist? Yeah, he was a journalist. He wrote oh. mostly about politics, but he, he had a lot of famous uh, sports people that he was friends with. And uh, I grew up around it, but I was so bad at it that that's why I lost interest in it, you know, just because yeah. I wasn't good at it. Huh. I, I love sports growing uh, up. I still love sports. So maybe that yeah. helps with my video game playing. Yeah, I don't it's know. What, what, what sports do you follow? Uh, that's the weird thing. I don't follow, like I hate, I'm not interested in statistics uh, uh, or like the names of players. Right. <laughs> but I will happily sit down and watch a football game. Like uh, I love football. Oh, okay. Uh, and I love, but more than watching, I love playing. I uh, love playing football. Oh, playing football, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I used to like be on a- Like touch football? Yeah. Well, I used to be you in a flag hung, You could have hung out with the Kennedys back in the day. I could have. Yeah, yeah, I could have. I could have chilled with them. They mm. probably didn't let the ladies play, though. You know what? Well, maybe. I think I, f I remember seeing shots of Ethel playing, but yeah. not, not a lot, I don't think. Um, yeah, no, I, I in, when I lived in Boston, actually, I was in a flag football league. Uh -huh. And uh, it was a co-ed league. And uh -huh. so I was, like, one of the best girl players. But then uh -huh. there were some women, though, that were, like these giants and mm. they would just completely destroy because you know you always have the girls covering the girls right, you know right so i don't know sometimes it was very difficult because like they were like rugby players uh, who in the off season would play flag football oh okay yeah rugby is pretty rough right? uh it's hardcore yeah. i've n i've never played i've played roller derby uh, but i've never played rugby Oh, you played roller derby? That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah, I skated in Boston. Uh -huh. uh, oh, wow. Same time I was playing football. It was I've never been mm -hmm. in better shape in my life. Uh -huh. And I used to eat so much. Uh -huh. It was great. I just eat mm -hmm. everything. Uh -huh. That's that's the main thing I miss about playing yeah. sports. So, Frank, we got to wrap it up. Okay, so I'm guessing I didn't win. You have not yet completed a lap. Uh -huh. And I have won, I believe this will be my 12th or 13th okay. game. Well, don't let it go to your head because... It's too late. Other people are going to come in and play this who are skillful at it. Uh, um, I think I'm just amazing. Well, I, I agree with that. I believe <laughs> that. But... Um, I'm going to quote you on that. And, and I'm glad that you didn't condescend to me and let me win. No, no. God, no. <laughs> yes, I would yes, never do that. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for being on my thank show, Frank. Thank you. It was fun. It was. The only part that was, the, the, was kind of hard was playing the video game. I know. <laughs> but I appreciate you giving it the old college yeah, try. Yeah, but it was, it was fun talking with you, though. Yeah. Ditto. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Frank. Thank you.